Warning, the following footage contains an electrician in distress. What you're about to see is my month from hell. This one's a bag of fun. It just looked so simple. It should have been so simple. Truly, just want to get finished now. So you join me now underneath my van. This is just one of the other things that's decided to go wrong this month. Um, on the way to the job that you're about to see, I broke down twice. And in that one job, I blew four tires. But I've done everything from ripping my nail off. I've had a ton of van issues. I've had about six big projects on the go which have all come together at the same time. So it's been a bit of an awful month, but I'll let you decide. Was it actually that difficult a month or am I just an absolute massive sissy? Let's start from the beginning, shall we? On the month from hell. Welcome back to another episode where today I'm out in a beautiful part of the English countryside. I'm up in Lincoln. I've got a pretty cool project done, which I feel was worth traveling for. This barn has been used for just about everything you can really possibly imagine. Judging from this, See, it's got dryer hood, flatbed ironer. They were doing some kind of laundry business in here. That wasn't the only thing they were laundering here because <laughs> the guy that was living here before got done for two years for growing in there. I've just had all my deliveries come to site. A whole ton of beautiful, delicious Doncaster cables. Some of the best in the world. I'm gonna be rewiring this place. They're gonna be having like a full commercial setup. But for now, we've got the house to worry about. This is the annex this section of building then this section of building here is the house this is where the electricity comes into the building here this is how i found it well the cover was like half on hanging out inside this cupboard here i was like okay well that probably wants some doing i'm just currently making a list of circuits because i'm going to put a three-phase db back in here i'm not actually going to be here for all of this one i have got a ton of other projects to get on with i've got a call out right now where a gym has lost power i've got like five or six other jobs this week that I have to be on, I have no choice. And obviously when you've got too much to do, that is when you get some help on board. So that is what I've done. I've got the dream, dream team back with me again today. Currently upstairs, you can see why I was rightly a bit concerned about not touching this place unless I was rewiring it. That right there, there's a little family of junction boxes. Literally every single circuit basically has got a horrendously made off junction box. It's all just been extended and everywhere you look, it's just trash. So we've got with us today, Ted. We'll do a nice little Ted, boom, boom, boom. Johnny, boom, boom, boom. And Adam, boom, 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 boom. We'll do something like that. I hope, otherwise I'm gonna look like an idiot right now. Ted, boom, boom, boom. Johnny, boom, boom, boom. And Adam, boom, boom, boom. So yeah, it's hard to do a hands-off job I'm a bit of a perfectionist and sometimes perfectionism can make you a micromanager and that's not a good thing. No one wants to work with, I'm gonna sound like, like a Prussian. Um, no one wants to work for a micromanager and no one wants to hire a micromanager. It's about finding people that you trust, finding their, what they're good at and sometimes people are even better at doing things than you. Johnny is the king of routes. He will find a cable route through Alcatraz, that guy, facilitate them, support them deliver everything they need to site. I've got everything from chisel bits, drill bits, this, this cable as well. If you're wondering why it's white, it's because it is LSFZH, low smoke fume zero halogen. If there was ever a fire, it's not gonna produce all the nasty chemicals and black smoke and sludge. So step one, find roots. Once they're set away on this job, I'm gonna go, um, get on with all my other jobs. I'm gonna come back here Thursday night. They're staying in a hotel nearby. I've got them a little Airbnb for the week um, until Saturday. I'm gonna come back Thursday and Saturday to work here. And then Monday, I'm back here to carry on with the network setup because we've got a full network set up here as well. So stick around for this. That's why it's a triple, that's triple. There's not a single ring in here either, that's another point what to make. I feel oh, like Noel Gallagher when I stand like this. Uh, 
very European, so it's all going to be radials, radial lighting circuits, radial socket circuits. Upstairs in this loft, we've got a four mil, 32 amp radial downstairs, 2.5 mils. Actually, you look pretty good because you're blue and that back wall is blue. So what I say is right now we get a green screen in, except we make everything that's blue. Okay. Yeah, make us look pinch. Yeah, there's any... Is, is, <laughs> make me look slimmer. <laughs> John, <laughs> make, make you look slimmer. I'm yeah. sorry, he's an editor, he's not a magician. <laughs> <laughs> is his desk going on that wall? Well, I said to him we're going to do Dado on it. Yeah, this is going to be his desk. Yeah, we room, well, if that's the case, maybe that makes more sense. Can come from here? Look, from here. Dado off the top of that corner. Well, we can do the top of that corner still along that way, can't we? Along yeah, way, yeah, sorted. Look at this. So this room... I reckon that's where they hide the gold. 100% we need to lift that up to see. So there are drug dealers that were living in here. And you've got a big hole in the floor there. And you're telling me we're not going to look under there. Mate, cash is dead. There's gold bullion in there. Let me show you one thing about this cable, which is pretty cool. LSF is notoriously a nightmare to strip. But this Doncaster Cables one, it's a figure of eight, which is pretty smart. So they've just made it a bit easier for me. My whole principle with everything from the screws that I use to the cables that I use, cost me a little bit more, but use better quality stuff, the customer gets a better finish, and I'm happier because it's easier to work with. And do you know what's even easier to work with? Is if you're not the one coming through the horrible tight spaces, but you get a young one to do it. Speaking of which, I've always felt like I was pretty young. Do you know what you said to me earlier? We were talking about geopolitics like every average electrician does in there. And he was like, do you remember the Falklands, Corey? It was early in the morning. Oh, Johnny, where do you want to be right now? Where do I want to be? Yeah, you've got the green screen behind you. Yeah, do you want to go on a beach somewhere? Down, down a little. That's it. That was me, that was me swimming, mate. Oh, we're nearly the same size. A little bit the same size. I'll do that, Corey. Well, I, I think I know how to use a multi tool. That's all right, yeah. you, uh, you chill, Corey. I don't want you pulling nothing, muscle or anything. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> this is a uh, pain, man. So we've had to do it again because the, the walls are so off here, they're all that the lowest point of the wall over there conflicted with it, so we've had to drop it all down, but oh, my microphone just fell off again. You're gonna have to do this for me, Johnny. I tape the microphone to my chest <laughs> so that you can hear me. <laughs> You've been wanting to do this. Oh, right. oh, no, well, let me, have, gonna, well, let me see, see, let me just see. Uh, don't let, grab I, 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 won't, I won't, I won't grab my hair. Let me just see. Just, 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 just okay. grab, just Let me just tape. stop being a girl. Let me just, I've got the tape, wait. <laughs> Move your hands, what's the matter here? <laughs> oh, oh, Should have grabbed a handful of hairs oh. as well. <laughs> that generation, they're glued to their phones with yeah. headphones. My son walks around, he sleeps, I think, with his headphones in. I'm part of that generation. No, you're not, Corey. You're older than that. You're part nearer my generation. <laughs> Good one. Good you're one. Near, you're nearer my generation. You're old enough to be my dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, how old are you? I'm 43. I'm 24. Let's do the maths on that. 24. When did you hit puberty? It's all right, you can tell us. <laughs> well, about when did you have your first 18. period? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. why, don't, 18. why don't we clear the floor and let's just wrestle it out? Yeah. I feel like that's what yeah, people yeah, want to see. Your back couldn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping the camera didn't capture that, but my life just flashed before my eyes. I feel like some kind of demigod just come and sat on me. The good thing is as well about doing it this way, we've got a route now from that side of the room to that side of the room without having to lift up the carpets. That makes it a lot nicer and a lot easier. Johnny. Yeah? Do you wish you were doing this in conduit? <laughs> no. Never again. Why not? <laughs> because I just didn't like it. It's, yeah, some principles is good, some it ain't. If you want to change the position of sockets, rubbish. If your sockets are going exactly back where they were, then that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a fair point. But yeah, it's, uh, everyone to their own, I think. Each to their own. <laughs> yeah, each to their own. Right, let's go check on Teddy Boy. Simple, oh, yeah? Ah, oh, Ted, them clipping techers are oh. right. 
Look at that. Yeah, but now I'm covering well, I'm it. I'm trying to talk face. on it so people can see it. Well, You're not just a pretty face, Ted. John, it's weird to talk about his pretty face. I, told I know, you about but this. all the girls <laughs> keep talking about it. He's got a girlfriend now. Has he? Oh, oh yeah. Did Go you on. get him through the shine, video? Shine the torch on your clip. Did you get him through the video? Yeah, we did. I bet you went to a, I'm a YouTube star. There you go. so many disappointed people now. Ted, did you tell her about your YouTube? Huh? Did you tell her about your YouTube career? Yeah. You did. That's yeah. how you broke. Yeah. Is that how you got in there? Are you sure she's not just using you to get to John? <laughs> <laughs> I'm married, mate. Right then, that is beautiful. Just keep up with that. Them standards. Ooh, who trained you? Must have been someone good. That was Adam. That one. Just to give you a bit of reassurance, the customer is replacing this carpet. All of the floors are coming up and being replaced, but can't really just leave a load of crud on their floor, so we're moving it anyway. Just in case you're worried. I'm just here today to get them started, get them pushed on. We're gonna finish this top floor hopefully today, and then tomorrow they can do the floor below and then the floor below. So sort of start at the top, work our way down, house finished. All right, this is the satisfying bit. Like I said that I'm a fan of doing, is ripping out all the old tut. So all these old cables are all coming out now um, to make way for the new ones. So we're not gonna put anything on that wall. The plan is light switch just here, out of there, into the light fit in there. Just quickly, don't zoom in. I'm not zoomed in. <laughs> Alright, so that is us finished here now for the day. I'll be back here on Thursday and hopefully by then they will have finished first fix. But we'll see. We're going to go now and do a fault find um, on a gym um, where all the lighting is off. So that should be interesting. Hey guys, welcome back. We've got Stuart back with us today. Today, I've got the three phase board to, to build and put in. So while these boys have been cracking on with first fix this week, I've been on a ton of other jobs, me and Ted. Ted is annoyingly at college today. But today, I'm ready for it. I'm pumped and ready for action. We've got some really exciting news. The news is not a sale or anything like that, or, you know, I'm not quitting YouTube. Sorry, not yet. Um, the exciting news is we found the room. The guy who lived here got arrested for growing illegal herbs and supplements, or at least illegal in our country. We've been joking around about finding his stash of, uh, of gold and finding the grow room because we couldn't quite work out where he'd be growing it because there's, there's no loft and the barn is like not, not really ideal for it. Also, I've been told it's not ideal for it. Do you know what? Sack it. Let's stop the suspense. You've got to see this. If this is not the coolest thing you've ever seen on an electrical channel, <laughs> then you're probably a very normal person because it shouldn't be as cool as it is. But I find it very, very cool. I I'm walking like Captain Jack Sparrow. To me, this is the coolest thing I've ever found at work. So, just a cupboard, right? Just a normal cupboard. Yeah, nothing to see here. There's coats and aprons hanging there. This big shed here is just, just a normal shed, you know, look, and it goes all the way back to there. Or so you'd think. However, have a little look at this. Look, you've even got the Breaking Bad suit there. You've even got this, this door here, look. That just pushes back. And then you go. I was so excited. Nick Bundy found his grow room. So many people are finding their grow rooms. I've now found my own one. I mean, the amount of spiders in here is pretty insane. Oh, in here there's bats. And I'm, I'm not kidding, there is legitimately bats in here, which some of them have sadly been caught in traps, which we should probably take down. How sad is this? These little fruit bats have been caught by these traps. Here we have it. The floor is very bouncy. You can still smell it. That is unbelievably creepy. I just went in there to film a short and the door just went bang, shut. Yeah, no thank you. I'm suspicious now of every cupboard I see. I'm like, yeah. Um, anyways, let me know in the comments below how much money you need to be paid to stay in there overnight. We've got our delivery here. 
from Verso. It's all our sockets and switches and whatnot. They do fuse boxes, obviously. Well, consume units, domestic consume units. And uh, I've seen that they make these products. So I reached out to Will, the fella who is the director of Verso. And I said, please, can I try them out? And uh, he talked me through a little bit his process of building them and everything. And I was quite impressed. As always on this channel, if I'm talking about something I'm transparent with it and honest. Yeah, you're not being sold anything garbage or that I wouldn't actually use myself. But anyways, let's crack on and get that three-phase board done. Enough Blair Witch projecting about. <laughs> Confession, I accidentally stole this screwdriver off of Jordan, so Jordan, if you're watching, I'm sorry, send me a postal address and I'll do my best to get it back to you in three to five working days. Oh, there's postal strikes. Oh my goodness, well sorry, with the state of the Royal Mail being privatised, um, as it is, then uh, I guess you're going to get it there whenever <laughs> Posty Pat can be bothered. be mean but I just think that would be so so funny if we can scare Ted on Monday. I'm just gonna leave like a head torch or something hanging in there and be like Ted can you just run and grab the head torch. Oh I need to delete it off my Instagram then it's on my Instagram Ted will see it. It's my Pokemon card. <laughs> yeah yeah I'm gonna get it off. I'm just gonna block him from my Instagram story. There you go I've hidden it from Ted. If his mum's watching this she's not gonna be very happy she doesn't know he has Instagram. Sorted. Ready for Monday. If you're after a bit of subby work, or maybe even employed work, if you're not... Oh, I'm so reticent to employ someone. I won't employ you until I've subbied you for a bit first, sorry. <laughs> if you're after some subby work and eventually employed work, then uh, send me your CV. My email address is in the details below the video, because at the minute I'm struggling to keep up with it. I'm not really fussed about qualifications. If you're a trainee or whatever, that's fine. I just need someone that's got a brain and is switched on which is quite a rare feat nowadays that's why i'm left with these guys <laughs> there was a kid driving a truck who when they're in their lay-by having a snack decided to overtake in the lay-by at 70 miles an hour and nearly hit them and it was a near miss near miss yeah. unbelievable just getting a bacon sandwich that is how precious yeah, life is precious and you could and have literally just lost it like that. so they're a bit the boys are a bit shaken today so if you want to if you want to wish them well, then feel free. I'll send them some nice tools. You know they won't say no. <laughs> oh, my old work boots. I wonder where these went. Yeah. We've got conduit because learning the lesson from that last tree wire. We're not going to do the whole place in conduit because a house like this would just be an absolute nightmare. There's oak beams in various directions around there in that old section of the house. You've got noggins everywhere so rather than drill the whole house to pieces we're using conduit inside the drops so drops for light switches drops for sockets then you can always lift up the floorboards and just pull it up the wall without chasing it out basically um, and all of these old cables are going to be coming out running tight for time it's like i need to cut them all but at the minute the customer's also coming back here every night, which is what's really slowing us down. It's because like, we've got to leave them some sort of power. We can't leave everything disconnected. Usually you just cut everything out, put it all in. Whereas all these sockets are still live and we're just pulling up new legs back next to it. So yeah, it's, um, this one's a bag of fun. See a little sneak peek of, of uh, Street falling off his skates. Yeah. Street wants to cut it out though, but tell him he's been a bad sport. Join me next time in Berlin, where Stuart falls off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is classic! Oh, you got to lose that. He's gonna tumble there. Stuart, oral hair. I did. I, s I checked on him immediately. I was nice, but I was like, we can't. That's too golden. Yeah, we can't. I tried it. No, Stuart, like come on. I've got a Unilite. Atex rated torch. Why on earth would I need an Atex rated torch? Atex, by the way, is when something is explosion proof. 
I'm sure it'll be useful for something one day. It'll give you a proper price. If at some, don't let it slow you down, but if at some point you, today you're able to get that apart, you'll win a price. Of course you get that apart. Nah. It won't come apart without bending it. Let me see it. It'll come apart. If you can get that apart without bending it, without completely trashing it, I'll give you a very nice little present. You need to get the other pair out. You've got to do it together. You can't do it on your own, can you? You need a proper grip on that. Mate, I'm bending the pliers. I mean, it's turning. It's, it's, it's well, not. that's the problem, isn't it? Because it's no, so to. solid. Anyway, take it. That's your challenge. If you can get that apart, <laughs> I'll give you something nice. You won't get it apart. My plan is, just because I want to start doing the board now, I'm gonna put the board here on this wall because this is all gonna be one larder. So I'm gonna put it on this wall. I can't start disconnecting this and I don't wanna wait and then be forced to do a quick swap over. I'm gonna do my board here, get this all completely done and ready. Once that's all completely done and ready, then I can cut this power, switch it off. And it's, it's a seamless changeover. It's no, it's gonna take me an hour to change over rather than a whole day doing two consumer units. This one's a little, it's a little one. He runs around everywhere, he's like a gremlin. I like it reminds me of the- uh, Nice boys. I've never seen the fluffy creatures out of Star Wars. <laughs> oh, yeah, walks. If he bites me, I'm going to turn him into slippers. Got a little data drawing now, makes things a bit easier. So you can actually see what's going, what's going where rather than, rather than guess. Again, it's just handy because I can make these on my iPad, ping them to a group chat and then everyone's got them. Johnny, Johnny, let down your, let down your hair. I was going to use PVC, but I just think the metal would be nicer. And there's a big old armoured cable here. You can just about see this coming into the back of this. In fact, I'll take it off so you can see. There you go. So you see that armoured cable there? I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll run a piece of metal trunk in along here and bend it in the corner round. And then I can just terminate that armoured cable into the back of that trunk in. And then it keeps the earth all continuous and I'll through crimp it and heat shrink it inside the trunk in. So how you do it, if I want it to go along here and along there, is I measure this to the back of the bend. So 800 and I want at least another 450 for that. Let's just say 600, space it off the wall a little bit. 650, have the board there. I'll measure 800 and then we'll measure 650. And then this can be cut. Right, so now I know my measurement's the back of the bend, so I know where the back of the bend needs to be. So I'm just gonna mark a line straight up here. And then uh, if I know that's my back of bend, then I wanna mark 45 off here and 45 off here. Same on the other side. I'm gonna lose all of that and all of that up to the corner along there. And then here, just do the same thing again quickly. And then I want to lose this piece here and this piece here. I'll quickly cut that. Alright, now the fun part. So we can bend it up, tuck that in, and we have a very seamless little bend. It needs a file and a smooth down, but let's say it's not bad, is it? You see how now there's no gap. If the wall isn't quite 90 degrees, if whatever, you've still got a perfect bend. And what I'm going to do is drill through and pop rivet it. Absolutely perfect. Needs a bit of a bit of a polish up. You're quite impressed with you? I feel like this is my school presentation. I should have a sticker ready for you. Yeah. <laughs> Put a sticker on you. It's good. Oh, it is. Oh, well, I get that and the blades from Tall Monster. 25% off. Use my code in the description. <laughs> is it tall? Yeah. That's brilliant. Just so small. Small but effective, like your neck. I 
thinking about sponsors and stuff, right? So I, keep, I talk about it a lot, and it really annoys me when people are sneaky with sponsors. Like if Trader Fire sponsors in your video, just say Trader Fire sponsors in your video. Don't try and sneak it in there. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's just something that annoys me. But. What are you doing? Sorting out your box? No, I'm just tidying all my bits away. I've got stuff all throughout this whole house, and I know I'm just going to end up leaving it here. Or even worse, I'm going to end up needing it tomorrow, and I won't have it. Well, you end up leaving it here, and I don't. That's my worst. Yes, mate. Yeah. That's exactly what I was suspecting. Up, yeah. Oh dear me! It's got some torque in it. I ruined my pop rivet in. Heartbreaking. I'll fix that. If I'm using uh, bush and lock rings, I very much like to double them up. Yeah, look. So I always order them with two, one bush, two lock rings. It just makes it look so much nicer. Beautiful, there you go. That is this ready now, so that when I come next week, these guys are gonna crack on without me, um, finishing up first fix. And then I'm back here on Monday. Hopefully they would have started some second fix or something, but that, I think I've just underestimated this job a little bit, really. These guys have worked solid, non-stop, really hard, so I've, it's not their fault, it's my fault. I've underestimated this job. Just lots of things really, glued down chipboard, joists all in the wrong direction, but it's one of them things, learn from it. Still gonna deliver a nice job. I'll see you guys, oh, one more thing. This conduit here, that runs down and up as well so that we can have a socket on this island. But anyway, yeah, see you Monday. Okay, we're back on site. <laughs> it is, I hope, the last day, okay? This has been a bit of a humility trip for me because um, I was absolutely convinced it'd be finished on Saturday last week, um, but it's not. So today is Monday and I have got eight people on site today. So let me introduce you to a few of them and show you what jobs I have. So we have, hey lads. Hello. So we have over here, Connor from CN Electrical and uh, Daniel here from Daniel Hair Electrical, so he's local, and very kindly these guys, and also Darren, who is another local builder, and he is going to be helping us with chopping in, chasing out, and getting all that stuff ready. So they very kindly answered my call for help, <laughs> and they're going to hopefully get this all smashed out today because we've still got a first fix in here. Like, we've not even finished first fixing downstairs yet. Got all of the underfloor heat and manifold controls to do. That board is still. A long old way off of being finished and um, that's all got to be second well mounted up second fix and everything so I've got Ted outside here he is uh well we've got this temp this is our little temporary supply which is pretty cool it's a little fold out solar panel going into a battery so he's just rigging that up and uh, replacing all of the outside lights for uh, whisker boxes ready to have the new lights put on I've pulled out the old power feed, so this is going to come through the wall now, and uh, let me get cracking on the board. So let's get to it. That is all removed now. See, that's all ready to go on. But our networking guys have just arrived. I'll show you. Here we go. Our networking team has arrived. We have Oliver and his lovely wife, Eden, responsible for the labelling in the barn. <laughs> Oliver, was your journey hard? Uh, Sorry, I didn't, that was ready for him to cut, so yes. Yes. <laughs> all right, so we've got Ted up there getting on with uh, all the outside lighting, getting all of that prepped. Daniel here is just putting in a super safe temporary socket. So the first job that I'm hoping that Ollie and Eden can get on with is we need to move the phone line. So the phone line needs to move from there where it currently is where the internet comes into the property i'm going to move it up there um, and we're using a cat 6 cable to do that so i've got all of these guys with me today and i've got another site on the go which is just crazy because i've gone from saying i don't want anybody i want to keep it really simple i want it just to be me and ted to today having 10 people on the tools which is ridiculous and all of last week i had six yeah i'm not sure whether or not i like that but we'll figure it out but anyway we're using this d-line trunking because I figured um, it was better just rather than chasing it in, we're going to clip it inside that. And then in future, if they want, ever want to upgrade or change to uh, 
fiber or anything like that they can just pop it out and do it so let's get cracking so you see there where the cable comes out of the network switch and it runs all the way down to where the internet line currently is coming in and we've ordered stacks of this stuff this d-line stuff because i saw which i thought was really clever someone used that to run a cable for an ev charger around the outside of the building and i thought that's super clever they used the, the clips inside it but once you close the lid on it you can paint it and you can blend it right in and i thought here they're going to be painting they're going to have to be changing things so you might as well do that and they can blend it right in so i've got the yeah i always get the free, little free samples whenever i do an order there <laughs> i'll leave you to get on with that bye getting this board prepped up but it's fantastic because everyone that's here is just crushing it absolutely smashing it and it just means that I can focus on this um, so I've got the board mounted I've just got to extend ah, in my face got to extend these cables around for the warehouse supply down and in and getting all of these chopped and prepped um, and stripped back the other danger when you're stripping cables like this is losing your teeth you strip it towards you then bang in your face. Sparky, I know, has got a tooth missing from that. And because he's flipping hardcore, you know who you are. He's still not had it replaced. <laughs> Just carried on working. I'll leave these lads to get the cables in. You can see we're doing well in here. Put all the cables up and through. You can conduit for the drops. This needs to be chased in. We've got all the lights to do still. There's still a lot to be done. Do you reckon we'll do it? No. <laughs> I'll do my bit, maybe. <laughs> maybe. along nicely see all the cables coming down there inside those bushes and then they enter the board and you've got them coming down there as well down to the floor um, and then you've got all the kitchen units going along here uh, Ted is smashing on nicely with the outside lights all of the sockets chased in now so that's great that's good progress we have our builder chap over here cracking on with those upstairs we've got these guys just finishing off the the runs for all the data here um, these chipboards are being replaced, but yeah, obviously it's a bit tricky. We kind of rather than just cut them up for now, so we're not responsible for replacing them. We're just cutting these holes out and then we'll be refilling them. Um, upstairs, we have Chili Electrical Hello. doing their thing. Relabeling, yeah? Yeah, just the ones that you've marked with pen, just stick the heat shrink labels on. Cool. Look, look, what are you using there? Fireproof Velcro wrap. So they're just combing out all of their cables. I'm just scooching out of the way so I can show them your lovely rack. Shine the torch on it. <laughs> what a lovely rack you have. And look, I don't catch one on the chin from Ollie for that. That is all mounted up, ready to go. A customer said to me the other day that if you oversleep and if you underestimate how long something is gonna take you, it's a sign of intelligence. I saw so me and Ollie are absolute geniuses. <laughs> we, we struggle to get out of bed and uh, we always massively underestimate how long something's going to take. So by my estimation, we've probably got an IQ of about 705. It feels a lot like an episode of DIY SOS or something. I'm waiting for, not Nick Mulvey, Nick Knowles? I'm pretty sure Nick Mulvey's, one of them is a fantastic acoustic, acoustic artist. The other one is, um, the DIY SOS guy. I need to crack on here. Uh, the, the, the lesson learned is, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just chalking this whole thing up to experience. It's taken way longer than I should have, and I'm on a price. I've had to get a lot more people involved, but it's a matter of, do I wanna pot my way through it myself and make more money out of it? Or do I wanna get it done for the customer? The customer will be happy that we've actually finished it on time 
and uh, keep him happy. I feel like it's better starting a business reputationally and everything to keep your customer happy. <laughs> and also, just as a human being, it's still not bad, really, for the size house. It's a big old house. It's only four bedroom. I say only, it's a lot bigger than anything I'll be getting in a hurry. It's four bedroom, um, but it's just the size of it. And the layout as well is just complicated. Even with John and Adam, who are pretty quick, and if not, you know, not taking it easy. Like, I know what they're like. They're very hardworking chaps. So if they're here, they would have been, would have been working hard. And even still, it's not done. So one of them where I'm just, I've got my podcast in, my music on. It's funny. It's just like, I went self-employed because I didn't want to do a nine to five. So now I just work all the time instead. The other thing is as well, I'm getting so sick of the, uh, the journey up here. It's so far. Now I'll stop every morning at the same service station. They play music in the toilets. Why, why are you playing music in the toilets uh, of a service station? And it's always cheesy, royalty-free music. It's like all the good planets are taken. It's like, I love you to Venus 5 and back, rather than to the moon and back. I don't want the guy next to me using the urinal to be. vibing out hey hey we're back um, so it's just the real ones that are left now the OGs no everyone has been absolutely amazing today um, everyone has literally worked so hard which is awesome so I've been on and off doing this board and helping Ollie and just sort of keeping things moving so as you can see there our little unify AP or access point is glowing. We've got Ted first fixing, sorry, well, second fixing now actually, all of these JCC lights. How do you find them to wire up? HD. <laughs> they look really nice though. So they're the new anti-glare ones that they make. So it's just a really nice light that they give off. So I decided to spec these. I feel like in a house when you have loads of spotlights, it can look a bit too much and it's really bright. And uh, Connor here is just smashing this out, Connor from CN Electrical. Um, so at the minute, we're mostly first fixed. So we've got the cables coming down uh, ready. So now we just need to fit conduit inside of here um, and get all of that ready. We've got the access points in, as you can see, but we still need to fit, well, first fix and second fix down lighters down here. Um, let's have a little look upstairs, see how Ollie and that are getting on. Hello. Hello. Oh, the cheek. Look at that. Put chili electrical on the switch instead of peppery oil, whatever we come up with the other day. Ting slightly tingly on my tongue. That was it. <laughs> that looks really nice though. Let me get a little close up of that quickly. So we've got our little Unify network thing going on in there. Do you want to talk us through what you have? Um, so we've got five access points coming from our patch panel into a PoE switch. Yeah. Uh, five general data ports and then the uplink from our Unify router. And uh, this is our BT line. Amazing. So we're just going to fit the modem and then hopefully we'll all be online. Amazing. Right then, I've got lots of stuff to get on with. Oh my goodness, a never ending job. I feel like all the time I see clickbait for a never-ending job. It was just like a slightly complicated socket. This really is the never-ending job. It just looked so simple. It should have been so simple. These oak beams, like the floors change direction regularly, the beams, um, and it's all this lovely chipboard. So yeah, truly, truly just want to get finished now. But anyway, yeah, I'll just film it. He wants us to go check out some like, oh wow, look at the stars. That's not good. We've been working too long. The stars are all out. No, he just wanted us to go check out all his lights. But where did he say the lights were? Uh, Goodness me, it's creepy in here. He said it was inside the cupboard. It must be inside that one. Inside that one. There's nothing in there. Is, is that back attached? Yeah, I think so. Shut up. What? Shut no, up. No, 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 no,
<laughs> don't go in there, Ted, you're nutter. Ted, don't go in there. I'll it's tell your mum. Mate, what the it's heck? A secret door. What the heck? <laughs> Look up. Oh my days, all the stuff. Oh, it has a weird smell. Nah, this is this is some murderous stuff, this. <laughs> Am I gonna walk in the <laughs> No, do not do not ways. open that door. Do not open that door. Okay. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> just Oh, it's alright, just go in. Okay, I dare you to go in. <laughs> 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 We're gonna to have to use a bleep for the first time in the history of Royal Electrical. Thank you for that. Oh. That was good. Oh. That was absolutely perfect. <laughs> that made me jump so much. I'm literally shaking. Stop all this now. Yeah? And be I'm a shaking. Man. Right, <laughs> we're finished now for the day. Everyone's gone home. Uh, it's past 10 o'clock, I think. I don't know. Um, got this, all the lovely bonding stuff done. We've had a nice little bond. These tails are in thanks to this beautiful linear clips which I use for absolutely everything now. Um, so we've just got this board to finish but I don't want to finish it because as you can see we've got a lot more second fixing still yet to do. Ted has been powering on with these but how nice do these JCC lights look? The actual light is hidden up there. Um, there is a word for it but this time of night. Indent. Indented? Indented or recessed. maybe yeah recessed. Recessed, recessed. Recessed. It's all looking very nice and it's coming together, but it needs a lot more time. So, um, see you when we're back here. Welcome back to what is just a nightmare of a job. I need to get it finished. I promised the customer that I will have it finished before Christmas, which now is in three days. Um, so basically, I've got my sleeping bag. <laughs> and I've got my overnight clothes and my plan is if I have to, I'm gonna sleep over in the barn, the nice creepy barn, or they've offered me one of their rooms, but it's like, I don't really wanna intrude on them, but I'm gonna figure something out just so I can stay up here because the journey is what's doing me in. It's like two and a half, this morning it took me two and a half hours to get here because of accidents and everything on the A1. I've got the board pretty much done. I just need some end caps and to tidy up a few little bits. Second fix is flying along. We've got Shane in here from flying higher and uh, him and George have come in and honestly saved the day. They've done so much today. JCC baffled down lights. I don't really feel like we're doing them much justice with the cut open ceiling, but they're gonna look fantastic once they're all done and switched on. Under here, we've got the central heating manifold still to do. Absolute mission of a job. Um, I don't know. I don't really know why you're nodding. <laughs> Has it been a mission, Ted, for you? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. What part of it was? What part of it was a mission? You know, just all of it. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, today we've got some data work. Don't judge my peasant data kit. Ollie has been here and fluke tested it all. This is just for <laughs> quick fault finding. Um, but yeah, we're gonna. We've got some Euro modules that we're gonna be sticking in. Got a whole load of labelling. My favourite job in the whole wide world. So we're gonna be labelling up this beast, which is all set up and running. Notice we have three phase in here, which is pretty cool. So we have to do a bit of testing. So time to teach Ted some three phase testing. What? There we've got a thumbnail right there. This is the data socket that we need to do. So we've got one just here that needs doing. So got a single one here. Check this out, this light is so cool. We have a, it's the JCC adaptable light. So basically it doesn't matter what size the hole is, it will adapt to that size, which I think is pretty awesome. Do you remember our blue screen, green screen? Um, there's our dado trunking all installed here. Feels like a lifetime ago. Inside here, more JCC, and then we have our network cabinet there. So, Chile Electrical, Ollie's been helping me out with that. Um, just because with data, I feel like too many electricians, myself being guilty of it in the past, will just have a go. But then 
We can't have a go at networkers for putting in a socket badly if we then go and butcher up data. I say this with a punch down tool in my hand, but the thing is um, I'm getting Ollie, who's actually a network engineer, to do all of the networking on my jobs. And I just do the simple bits. And I feel like I'm slowly learning it now. Like all the keystones and that in there were easy enough. Obviously doing the Euro modules, easy enough. Actually programming, configuring, I'm getting there. So we have these network sockets here that we just need to do. We'll quickly whack these on. So at the minute, this isn't actually wired into the uh, patch panel. So it's still dead, so to speak, for me to be able to cut it. And I'll explain how to pop it into the patch panel shortly. Because they have twisted pairs, from what I understand, you shouldn't actually, re I used to just untwist them all the way when I was making off a network socket, but I've been told not to do that. I've been told to keep the twisted pairs together as much as possible. If you have any points for me to improve on here, I'm all ears, well, and nose and mouth, but basically you choose your configuration. So let's say we go for one, and that means we have white, green, and green, which will go just in there. And then we have green, that's gonna go there. And then it's white, blue, and then blue. Probably you could just punch it all down at the same time, but just so they don't slip out, I'm just gonna punch it down. So this tool, it basically snips the wire as you push it in to the slot. That's why I prefer keystones really, because you don't even have to do this. But um, yeah, I just this is what we have for now. At the top over here, it's white, brown, brown. So I'm just following the colors on the inside. Ted's first time seeing this done as well. I'll send him over to a Chile Electrical YouTube video to see how it's done properly. With commissioning, what Ollie's test meter will do is it will actually be able to tell you the exact length, do all the different tests that are necessary rather than just the quick check that I do. My check really is just to make sure I've got them all in the right terminals. Pop that on. That's A7 done. And I'm gonna do the same for A8 and then I'll screw it back. So that's our little network socket made off. Ted is gonna do that one, but I just thought I'd quickly show you how I'm just double checking it. This little device, you've got the master and then the remote. And just to demonstrate, it's not a proper professional network test. You do need to use a proper tester. This is like the equivalent to just belling out your cables, but it's just making sure that for now the polarity is correct. You'll see it go down, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a ground as well if you're using that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my master here and then switch it on. And that's now going to be sending that signal background there. And I go into my network rack in here. And this hasn't been plugged in yet. So you see there's these spare terminals, so it's one of these, and then I need to label it up really. Let's see which one it's on. Eight, aha, uh -huh, eight. So you see it there? It's going down in sequence. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nice. Okay, so that's all good. So now we know that is slot eight. So I'll label that one over there as eight. And then uh, I can patch this in. Oh, I really want some shorter network leads actually. No, I, I refuse to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna get some shorter network leads and see if I can make that look a bit neater. Um, this is all on, so we've patched it all in now. So that has all been connected up and uh, yeah, sweet. For now, that is us finished. So we've done some testing, labeled up the board, got labels and everything now. Just Far sight nice. There we go. Um, yeah, it has been one hell of a job. I tell you, it is just, it has humbled me. <laughs> it really should have been easy, but we've had everything from rat's nests to like the, the ridiculous flooring issues we've had, labor and just about everything else on top of it. I feel quite proud to have got to the end of it. We've got to come back when they have their new kitchen and just change a few bits around in the kitchen. But that's no worries, that's easy. I'm not, 
I'm not in the slightest bit worried about that section of the work. Woo! It's windy. Ah! Super windy. Let me shield the microphone like this. That is one finished rewire. This has been, if I'm being honest, not the easiest time. Not just because of this job. This job has been a complete and utter nightmare, mainly because I took it on as a subcontractor project, um, which the customer was aware of. I was just gonna come, project manage it. Subcontractors obviously ended up not being able to complete it on time, which I completely don't blame them for. It is a nightmare job. And then that meant I had to jump on this as well. And I've been here pretty much every night um, until 11, 12 o'clock, getting it finished, getting it turned around. So when you're on your own, it takes so long to do anything. But a massive thank you to John and Adam and Daniel Hare and uh, George Nairn as well for giving us a hand um, when, when they've been able to. It's just deceptively a big property and having the noggins every 400 mil, having the steel beams and everything else has just made this, this whole job incredibly difficult. But I've actually got engaged, okay? This is the situation what's made things a bit difficult. I've got engaged. My fiance lives in Norway, which is, you know, lovely. But the visa to get her here is ridiculous. And what makes it more ridiculous is because I've just started a business and I've not had it for over two years, me trying to get a mortgage at the minute has been really, really difficult. I got rejected on that, so now I'm having to find ways around it. And, um, her getting her visa here has been really difficult. So I've had to take care of all of that um, while having four or five jobs on the go, which I've not been able to film them all, unfortunately. Okay, sorry, I ran out of space on my memory card. Um, the point I was trying to say in the van is, to be honest with you, it's been a really, really hard few months. Like, um, setting up a business is not easy. Let me tell you, it is, it's got a lot of benefits and I wouldn't change it. Um, it's a lot of freedoms, but it is so much harder than being employed. Like, do not let that put you off if your goal or dream is to do it, but it is so much more demanding. There is no one else that you can rely on. If you don't finish a job on time and you wanna be a good person, um, there's no, oh, sorry, it's five o'clock, see you later. It's you will stay until the power is back on. And that rewire is part of that. I quoted that rewire and I quoted it for me to not be there. Um, I quoted it for John and Adam and a couple of other lads to go and help him. Um, and it just didn't go by that way. You know, there's a lot of disasters and just one of those things. So who takes the fall for that? It's not their problem. You know, they're, they're working for me. And too right, that's how it should be. Ultimately, the responsibility falls on who has whose company it is. So that's me there until midnight because I want to save my reputation. I want to give a good job and it's hard work and it does wear on you when, especially when a lot of other things in your life um, are tricky. I just think it's a bit of a rubbish time. Sorry, hair is soaking wet. It's not grease. It's I've just got out of the shower. It's, a, it's not the most straightforward time in my life. Let's put it that way. However, that is what it is and I've signed up for it. So you just gotta ride it out. If I drown, I drown. If I swim, then we're gonna have a cool, successful thing. And it's been a cool opportunity and there are some awesome jobs coming up, like everything from I'm building my own wind turbine, that's pretty cool, I look forward to sharing that with you, um, to building my own hydroelectric plant um, and going to an eco mine in Sweden. There are some cool stuff coming up. Oh, a battery farm, that's another cool one. There are some wicked bits coming up um, but yeah, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I think it's just venting a little bit because it's been an extremely stressful few months and I apologize that the videos haven't been as regular um, as I would like to be, but the trouble is, is so much work and very, very little reward compared to just doing your normal engineering work. I enjoy doing it um, and I love the community that it's kind of created, but at the minute, it's taken second place to the rest of my life. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry for the moan. Uh, hopefully some people can relate to it. People that are in their first year of starting a business. Just one other thing to add while I have you, the customers, oh my goodness, if you're watching this, you know who you are. Thank you so much because they sent me the most amazing kind card and gift. 
Um, they are absolutely lovely and all of my customers so far have been lovely. I genuinely can say I haven't had a bad customer yet. So if there's one victory from having this business is that and it's the people you meet along the way. So thank you very much and uh, I look forward to meeting my future customers as well. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.